All right, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're gonna just discuss some differences among those two Bofeng uh, models, right? On my left, uh, the UVB5. On the right, uh, the UV5R Plus. Okay. Uh, first of all, antenna. Antenna A come exactly with the same antenna. Exactly same antenna. Okay. That's the default one. Uh, features. LED light on this one. Knob for ch channel change on this one. UV Bravo 6 B6 has also an LED. So, uh, in theory, 5 watts, 2 watts uh, in the uh, VHF, uh, UHF, 4 watts, 1 watt. That's what I said in theory. And one thing that I think it's important is the weight. So, let's weight this guy here with all the features and battery and everything. It is, as you can see there, 7. Point, oops. 7.7, 7.6 ounces, or if you're a metric person, 218 grams, okay? So let's go back to ounces, 77, okay, 77, 76. Uh, now, let's compare this to UVB5 Plus, and again, with all the features, including the linear, so this goes to 81 ounces, right? Or if you are a metric person, 230 grams. All right, it's not a major difference, as you can see, right? However, you know, this little blue radio here, the B5 I and mean the, the R5 Plus, uh, that's the model, uh, it does weight a little bit more. Not something that's a deal breaker for either way, right, for either side. So that's one radio, that's another radio here. Okay, another difference is, well, the model, at least my, my radio, this guy here has a nice color, you know, color display, right? If you transmit it, change color, if you receive it, change color, etc. This guy here, let me just... Uh, yeah, it doesn't, you know, have its as nice display, but still by very functional. Okay, better sound, better sound. Let me let me just power it up again. Okay, left left radio. Welcome. Okay, one more. Welcome. See this guy here. Oops. Channel mode. It's more metallic, right? Again. Mode. Yeah, independent of the volume. Channel mode. It's different. Welcome. Yeah, it's much more, much stronger, much clearer reception on this radio. Um, that's for sure. Well, some accessories I got. Let me show you this one. It's a SMA female connector to male connector. First of all, you can adapt antennas. If you have old antennas that are uh, that requires me a connector, or you can still let me just power power off this guy. Oops! Don't 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 break it. Power off this guy. I'm gonna take the antenna out. Yeah. What I can do is, if I wanted to use this at my home or my car, I can actually, you know, get this pre pre wired here a little bit. Then I basically get this guy here and just, you know, turn the normal connection. Let me do the opposite. You can use even this to put it back there, right? So it stays there all the way. So now I have a portable connection that I can just unscrew from this point on and plug in a adapter cable directly to the UHF, uh, you know, connection for the antenna, for the external antenna. So that, that works. And another feature that I have, or an optional device, is the... It's not a, a one of those Nagoya antennas, but I, I think it's General, I, don't, I forgot the name, but anyway. 
I don't think I actually needed this one, okay, because it's so close to the original one that came with the radio. You can see that. It's just, you know, thinner. But in the size wise, it's about the same thing, you see. The difference is nothing, just a little bit. So I, I, I doubt this will bring much more reception, although it's, it's, it's better to have a more flexible antenna than something that will put more stress on the connector here. If I, if I touch this somewhere, right, it just bends. If I touch this somewhere, it trans transfers the, the force against the connector and the radio. <clears throat> so that's one. And the second antenna is this big one here. Again, not a Nagoya, but something similar, I guess. Oh, one thing that I... I'll show this later. Yeah, let's go back with this and screw that here. Yeah, although it doesn't fit... this The, the other one fits perfectly. This one has a minor gap there, as you can see, but nothing to bother me. And if you look, let me put this far away, otherwise I can't capture this. Uh, this is a huge antenna, you know. It's big. It goes like that, right? And if you compare with the other radio on the side, just to have an idea how the original antenna goes, it's almost two, twice as much. So not, you know, definitely not something I would like to carry every day, but keep in the car, if you need the HD, you have it. Um, another difference is uh, this guy here on the right, the blue radio, the, the 5R Plus, came with a earplug, right, the ear mic, for free. The left one didn't, okay. This costed me $48, this costed me $42 US. And both radios accept the external mic. So those are Kenwood compatible. You know, this is Bofeng brand. Just connect the radio, it goes like this on you know upside down. Uh, one thing that I did is I, I read the internet and I the, the hole was in the right position. I just enhanced it. Uh, let's see if I can show. Yeah. Oops. Give me a second to focus this thing, please. Alright. You see that? I enhanced that hole a little bit so I can get better audio. So I disassemble this guy here on the back. There are a few screws there. And usually, very carefully, open up a little bit the hole and uh, definitely help with the reporting of a uh, uh, louder uh, reception on the other hand. Okay? So that's pretty much my station for today. Uh, those two Bofang radios, uh, some antennas. Again, I do recommend this one, like I said, just in case you would like to wear the radio on your body, on the pocket. It really helps with uh, avoiding to put stress on the connector here and, and breaking the radio, uh, you know. Uh, that's pretty much it. Come back to my channel anytime. Uh, please subscribe and uh, welcome your comments. Uh, positive ones, please. <laughs> Talk to you later. Uh, over and out.